Haven't played Survivor yet. That one. So the first game was uh, it was okay, and then Survivor came out and it just kind of like blew it blew it out of the water for me. Had a really good time with it. I actually ended up platinuming that game like super quick. Let's hope this is all Blackthorn needs. Yeah, that one. That one I would suggest as like a must play for sure. Blackthorn. Got everything you need. Yeah. Yeah, I do. Cheers for the stardust. Should be enough to be getting on with. Nice to get out and about for once. Do it again sometime, eh? I'll make a start on putting this firm all plating together then. It will take some time, mind. So if you've got other things to be getting on with, I could do without you breathing down my neck. Thank you, Blackthorn. I'll let mid no constructions underway. Oh, excuse me. Suppose we'd better be getting back to work too. Give us a shout if you need anything. Man. Gav's right eye, the one that has a scar over it, blinks. It looks so weird. Lurking, making gravy. Nice, nice. I suck at making gravy. Terrible at it. <laughs> Thank you for being here, by the way. I can level up real quick. Eighteen hundred. Don't have enough for that. I use a package one. Still, still, I'm, I'm, I, I, I can never, I can never get it right. I don't know what it is. Just a potato, I guess. <laughs> Okay, so I think what I'm going to do for now is I'm going to reset this. I'm going to buy this one. And I, I guess I'm just going to hold off for now because I don't necessarily... I guess I could actually... Oh, four hey, 420 ability points right on. <laughs> oh, you... Oh, I'm working at KFC? Nice, nice. I was working there. Was it all? Was it all right? You get some good, good deals. What did I want? He cracked the crystals. I used to love KFC. Now I struggle with some fast foods. Doesn't sit well anymore. I wish I could make good gravy though. It, may, it makes a big difference. For certain meals at least.
might need some help. Well, if I don't come up with something soon... You'll be pleased to hear that Blackthorn started work on the plating. Excellent. One down, two to go. So, two to go. What's next? The helm, of course. For this, we'll be repurposing fallen scrap. Salvage from the ruins. Oh, I gotta get a haircut this week. It hurts to get a little long. No, after. I'm sorry. Just so happens there's one particular ruin that's broken into exactly the right shape and size pieces for what we need. What's the name back there? I'll give you all the details. Man, we're getting a freaking ship. What's the name? Right. Grant, what time are you guys getting on tonight? I know you work till 12.30. You usually get home around, like you said, I think you said last time you get home around like 1.15-ish. Roughly. Oh, Sid, is this about the helm? Uh, yes. Mid said I should speak with you. I'll show you the plans then. Here you see the mithril engine in which mithril is burned to generate heat. That heat is then harnessed to produce motive force. Excess heat is dealt with by means of the thermal displacement stack, which disperses it into the surrounding air. Now, were we to rely on thermal plating alone to achieve effect, the rate of excess heat buildup would fall we playing? the displacement coefficient. 40? Of In other words, the reactor would overheat and eventually explode. This is where the helm comes in. It connects to the plating, you see, and serves as a sort of thermal yeah, sink 40. to absorb all that energy. Travis Grayson could be on too. Our experiments have shown that fallen ceramics are remarkably thermophilic. They can withstand and absorb levels of heat far above anything we are able to make today. And not only that, they're also waterproof and immune to rust, making them the perfect material for our protective hood. Why? Yeah, it should be good. Jen's out on a charger, so uh, she's probably not getting back home until three, four in the morning. So you can stop there. I understand. Mid said we might be able to use parts of a fallen ruin. Where would I find it? Ah, yes, it's in Lorbert's Pass near Lostwing. The thing is, well, I. Probably should Sounds have good, but... to have the pieces we need brought here sooner. You see, <laughs> a certain unwanted visitor has taken up residence there. It's no longer a matter of just walking in and taking them. It's um going to be considerably more dangerous than that. I see. Then I suppose I'd better deal with this unwanted visitor for you. Would that help? Oh, very much. Thank you, Sid. I'll gather my team and head there right away. We'll meet you outside the ruins. Travis was telling me there were some uh, some good Fortnite skins on there, and I was like, fuck, I don't want to spend more money. Filling out this map pretty pretty quick now. Where are we going? All the way out there. All right. It's always dark. It's always dark in this area. Why is that? Let's go. Yeah. Oh, 
Level 13. Time to fight. Hard pass, hard pass. I'm just doing the uh the letting off steam quest. Starting to get the uh the pieces for the ship. Oh. Oh, these guys are following. What the Okay. Alright, right, we're good. These guys freaking out. You are, Sid. You've been, uh... Thanks so much for coming. You grab the, your pillow, uh, I'm a boss, I got you. <laughs> uh, just over there. We were, uh, we were chatting about, um, God of War, Jedi Survivor, D4. Of course. All that good stuff. I'll be right back. This, yeah, these are, like, the fetch quests, eh? The classic fetch, fetch quests to get the set up for the rest of the story. Also, Titan, if you ever get this, uh, if you ever get this monster 300, uh, 300 triple shot, don't, don't get it. It's not the best. Time to go. The anime filler, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fair. Hey man, I got I gotta wake up. You know I gotta make sure I'm good to go for the next couple of hours. Yeah, I'm rocking. Uh, I'm rocking um, the Titan. Um, the things I do for you because I find the skills do a little bit more. Thank goodness you're safe. Uh, damage and uh, stagger and whatnot, right? Indeed. Don't let us keep you. We'll um see that everything. I'll be is switching out for uh. Well, we'll see what um right. the rest of the well, Acon skills way. are too. The cool thing is, I know is like if you master the uh the abilities, you can throw different Acon abilities on uh, on other Acon stuff. Anyways, I'm literally I'm li after the after I'm done with this recording I'm definitely gonna have to go make another G fuel though, or get a drink. Of something of some sort. So I finished the little bit of G fuel I had left. I finished the monster. <sighs> I just need something to sip on. Maybe I get some water or something. Water sounds pretty good. I didn't mind the uh, Garuda skills. I do have to go back and get that trophy. But, uh, yeah, essentially I'm just... Uh, Fire, Earth, and... Uh... No? Just a weird mix, eh? A little bit of a weird mix. Yeah. yeah I, I mix it up a little bit. 
I kind of like to try. I like to try the new energy drinks, like ones that I've never tried before, just to see how they are. Like I quit energy drinks there for a good couple years, and then like a couple about six months ago maybe or so, I was like, ah, you know, I'll try some new ones out and just only have one once in a in a while. It's not too often, right? So. <laughs> Hey man, ain't nothing wrong with being a little weird, all right? <laughs> if I don't come up with something soon. Mid. Helena has recovered the material for the helm. She'll be along shortly. Excellent. Another job well done. And just one remaining. Right. Right, the shielding. This one's a bit of a bugger. How so? The plating's enough to stop the engines going pop, but those things will still be spitting out enough fire to set the rest of the ship ablaze. Which is why you need proper shielding. A prison for the dragon's breath that's blazing away inside. I thought a triple thick layer of tempered steel might do it. Or more of the stuff that the Fallen use, but they both be too heavy. The helm and the plating are bulky enough as it is. Add any more weight and the whole ship would be at the bottom of the briny before we'd even started. I need something light. But I've wrapped my brains and I just can't think what I'd do it. Well, if I were in need of obscure knowledge, I know whose counsel I would seek. Harpocrates. Tomes. Thanks everybody yeah, for being here, cool. though. Actually. I thought of that, obviously. Appreciate it, details though. Details written down here. Appreciate it a Can bunch. Can you take this to him? See what he makes of it. Hey, I appreciate you raiding me so much, man. It's a big, big, big thing for me. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. Hey, what'd you have for uh what'd you have for dinner today? Random question. today Clive all yours come again I may have more for you Clive supper supper or whatever uh, food food for uh... here you go seen enough Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Taco Tuesday. Right, 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 right. I'm kidding. <laughs> Threw me off for a second. I was like, oh, shit, eh? <laughs> pizza, eh? What kind of pizza do you have? Freaking Taco Tuesday, man. I missed, I missed the boat. Do you have the moment? For you, Clive? Always. Well, actually, it's for me. Oh, I in? Would you take a look at this? I always get Hawaiian. I'm a pineapple on pizza guy, too. Bacon and ham. I've never tried it like that, though, actually. That sounds pretty awesome. I gotta try that next time. Next time I get some Hawaiian pizza. Think of next. What are these notes around the edges? She has some specific requirements for the materials. The shielding needs to be able to resist extreme heat on the inside, and yet remain cool enough on the outside not to set the ship alight, while also being light enough not to sink it. As you can imagine, she's struggling to find... I, I kind of wish I had tacos now, man. God damn. I had sushi, though. I wondered if you might know of a solution, or if you might be able to search the records for one. Hmm. Perhaps. Well, I fucking love sushi. She requires, but a different Get a little tent stuff. What do you mean? Eat that all day. Consider the lake we have made our home. 
Its blighted waters eat away far more quickly than fresh <laughs> or even brine. Hey man, I'll send some sushi your way. Alike. And yet, next time we have made a home here from those very materials, nonetheless. <laughs> we have. But Bardolf must varnish every board twice over to keep it from rotting. And Obelisk complains that without a constant supply of. French wraps her. I can't, man. She's out on a charter. She went I down to uh, LRD. Early Gregorian histories speak of a preparation known as Moondew. It is said to be able to resist even the most ferocious flames. Before the dragoons tamed the worms and wyverns of the realm, nobles would daub their castle walls with it in order to guard against dragonfire. So if we could recreate it, it might be applied to some material or other in order to provide the protection it requires. As to how best to apply it and to what material, perhaps Bardolf and Obelus might be of assistance. I shall speak to them and see what wisdom they might have to offer. If you would be so kind as to procure the necessary ingredients, I shall discuss the specifics of how it might be most effectively put to use with our two friends. <laughs> I wish. I wish. She's going to be down there. Supposedly, she's just, uh, she's, well, she just landed. So now, uh, she's, yeah, yeah, briskets, man. Oof. Come on. Come on, guys. <laughs> Don't be, uh, you know, you know. <laughs> no, she's, uh, she's, she just landed. Apparently, she's going to offload and then reload and then come right back. So she's not even have the opportunity to leave the airport at all. I'll be heading to market for the ingredients we need. I could do some help. Oh, it's kind of sucks. Two. The other can assist me in researching how best to prepare the shielding itself. Can we count on your aid? Always. Well, if Jill's game. Thank you. I am sure either of these fine young minds would prove indispensable in my research. I leave the decision as to who will go with whom in <laughs> your capable hands, Clive. Oh, letting off some steam three, man. Part three. Let's fucking go. <laughs> so, Clive, have you made your decision? Who will accompany you Thick on filler. your excursion? Triple C. Very well. So then, what do we need to find? I have taken the liberty of preparing a list. Here. White chocobo eggs. Pepio nuts. Are you sure this list is mm. right? Everything on here seems very edible. I would have thought the ingredients would be a little more exotic. Though these items may seem mundane, they have potent effects that are rarely exploited. Effects for which they were once highly prized. So much so, in fact, that they were harvested almost to extinction, hence Moondews having fallen from favor. Now, of course, they can be obtained with ease. You should be able to find everything you need at the market in Northreach. Is that so? I've been meaning to visit Northreach anyway. I'll set out now. Join me there when you're ready. I will. Until then. You two enjoy yourselves. You too, Talia. I kind of miss what they were talking about at the beginning, but, uh, fuck it. It's fine. We'll figure it out. Just collecting some shit. doesn't matter <laughs> yeah that's what i was thinking when i seen the options between uh between jill and tara there i was like uh i'm like this is this even is this even an odd like what the hell i don't i don't think so bring a dominant or bring a healer you know uh kind of a no-brainer i guess Nice and chilled. Those pepio nuts. Remember to 
How goes the hunt for ingredients? <laughs> uh, I've only just started. I'm sure everything we need is somewhere amongst all these stalls. So After I beat this game in, uh... We'll take a couple of ingredients each. All right. Letting off steam quest is skippable? Is it actually? For the pepio nuts and some garlic. I'll find the other things we need. Interesting. We'll meet by the gate when we're finished. Interesting. Hold up a second, though. I know there was some some sort of importance for doing it. I believe it was for one of like the it's it's necessary to get one of the end game swords that are apparently just you know uh, kind of overpowered, I guess you could say. What the hell is this? Not find a bruised pippin in the bushel. Oh, it should be skippable. Fresh cuts. Come and get them before they're gone. Any friend of the innkeeper is a friend. Hey man, they gotta they gotta they gotta stretch out the story a little bit, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? I hope it's to your liking. There's always always got to be that part in a Final Fantasy where right. there's a good little stretch of uh, we'll be gone. you know, this stuff. Thanks for nothing. That's everything. Let's see how Jill's getting on. Yeah. No, that's completely fair. What was um? Did you find what was the last game I was freaking playing? There was a game I was playing not too long ago where it was like. Two hours of complete, like, bullshit. And I was like, man, get me the fuck out of this right now. <laughs> I can't remember what it was, though. Garlic and pepio nuts. Perfect. Now all that remains is for Harpocrates to somehow turn all this into what Mid needs to keep her engine cool. <laughs> But before we head back, would you walk with me a while? Going on another stroll, man. There's lots of strolls on these missions, on these through these past three. What did you think about the Torgo thing, Titan? Final Fantasy I 15? Help you today. Makes a nice change. I don't think so. It does. No, 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 uh, hold up, let me pull up my Being here recordings. Reminds me of when we were children. It, it might have been, I don't think it was Tears of the Kingdom. I actually, like, I really enjoyed Tears of the Kingdom, like, through and through. How could I forget? What with Torgal's antics? It, it might have actually even been Diablo 4, not gonna lie. It, it probably was Diablo is there 4. You wanted to buy for yourself over here. There was, yes. Well, sort of. Molly in the kitchens told me about I think it was one of the acts where there wasn't very much like really going on. It was like go here, do this, go here, do that, and it was kind of like small little things. And then the end of the act was like a banger, but it was like taking the whole act to get Yeah, I think it was Diablo actually 4. What do you think? I thought we might get some suit. Some Torgal side quest? Hey man, Torgal DLC. Ham and it was just... It's gonna happen. I'm gonna get some right. sick backstory. <laughs> Sorry. Other than just the tomes shit. Just, uh, you're right. I really do feel like a child again being here with you. Clive. Is it wrong of me to enjoy this? No, Jill. This is how life should be. And it's how our lives will be when our work is finally done. And we can live on our own terms. I don't know, I'm going to put a bet on Jill's probably going to die, by the way, in this game. I have a very strong feeling it's going to happen.
Well, I suppose we best be getting back. I need to give these ingredients to Harpocrates and Talia. I'll see you at the hideaway. Take care. I will. You too. Well, I mean that little cutscene there, man. There was a there was a little blackout period. <laughs> you know. There's been some tense shit going on this whole game, that's for sure. <laughs> hey, they almost they almost did a couple missions ago and then what was I think Gav had a had a thick interruption. I wonder how Hippocrates is getting on with the moon dew. Just a big cuck. I think it's, yeah. <laughs> Man, when that first when Benedicta and the tight cupka at the beginning were like smashing, I was like, oh my god, I was like, no shit. <laughs> Like, can I even post this on YouTube? You know, like. <laughs> well, very well indeed, and thanks in. And then the gory and the like dismemberments and shit, man. Like, I was like, I was like, wow. I'm like, they really, they really stepped their shit up on this one, man. I was very impressed. Ingredients, we may begin. You can count on me. I've mixed more than a few mysterious concoctions in my time. Yeah, yeah, they just. They throw you right into the sex scenes and the uh, and the decapitations and shit immediately. Under the watchful eyes of no time wasted whatsoever. Apparently, it'll be ready soon. Thank you, all of you. Right then, Jill, could you join me in the infirmary? <laughs> Many hands make light work, and all that. Of course. Oh, and Clive, thank you. It was nice just being with you. So Titan, if you're starting your stream at two thirty tomorrow, I should be up. So I'm gonna I'm gonna hang out for a little bit in your stream. I don't know if I want to start up right away tomorrow. Or just kind of. Followed you know, hang out, do a couple of things around the house. Perhaps I gotta get some cleaning done. The dogs are shedding like crazy, man. Athena has shed so much this year, it's ridiculous. Like all the years I've had her so far, I've never, I've never seen her shed so much. I don't understand why. Well, I better go and give Mid the good news then. Put you up on the big screen, my man. Okay, real quick, real quick, I'm just end this recording here.